So I've been having so much fun with these house tour videos and today is your special day because I am gonna be showing you the heart of our home. Check it out. The family room is one of my favorite areas in the house. This is the place where everybody just chills and lounges. We have a really nice fireplace here. We have a television where we just like to chill and sit and watch while we're hanging out on the couch. What I really love about the family room is the shelving. I love that I have all of these cool black and white family photos. These photos are from when my husband and I, we renewed our vows, my son Cree's birthday, party, my sister's wedding. So these are like really cool memorable moments in my life really, or our life should I say. What's also really cool about this room is the rug. The rug is actually from Mexico. And what I love about this rug is we actually sewed pieces of different rugs together to make this rug look really nice and relaxed. It's like an organic feel to it. I also love the coffee table. We have really cool books on there. I have some dried flowers on there and I love decorating with dried flowers because they last forever. <laughs> you don't always have to keep on buying new flowers and it kind of gives that organic raw element to the house. My favorite piece of furniture in this whole entire house is this couch. Ah, this couch that I'm sitting on. I love this couch. And I'm telling you, this couch was a little pricey. <laughs> I didn't tell my husband. My husband does not know how much money we spend on this couch because I don't think I would have it if I told him that. That's all we have in here, right? That's the only piece of furniture. So I really, really wanted it to shine. 10 people can sit on this couch and chill and just have conversations. That's what I love about this couch and the pillows. My brother, Taj, he is so funny. He's like, if you ever need to borrow some pillows, <laughs> go over Tia's house. He's like, Tia, you got enough pillows on this couch? <laughs> but I think that's what makes this couch just so cool. It's so comfortable. We have speakers in every single room in the house and we have speakers outside. So whenever I have a party, I just have the music just blasting, whether that's jazz music, whether that's salsa music, whether that's hip hop music, we just have a blast. My other favorite part of the house would definitely have to be my kitchen. I am in love with this kitchen. It is so spacious and open, and not only that, I love that as I'm preparing meals, I can look out and see my son hanging out on the couch, you know, watching television, or my husband. It's so open, and I'm in love with the island. I just love that it's really nice and big, and it also has this really cool Calcutta marble, and it's just so beautiful. And the Calcutta that I have in the kitchen inspired me to put ceramics and marbles throughout the rest of the house because it's just so beautiful to me. What's so funny is whenever I throw parties, I'm like, guys, you know, we have a media room here, we have the couch here, or you can even hang out in the dining room. But everybody always, always, always ends up hanging out around the island. Everybody just loves to stand there, sit there, drink, eat and just talk and laugh and have a great time. At my parties, I have about maybe like 20 to 25 people. And I'm not kidding you, all 25 people are hanging out around that island. So let's be honest here, Calcutta is a little porous and a lot of people when they come over the house are like, oh my gosh, how do you keep this marble so clean? Well, <laughs> when people are over for parties, I'm literally like a crazy woman. I'm like running all over the place trying to put a coaster under everybody's drink. It's pretty funny. Our style is we love bringing natural elements into the house. So in the kitchen, you'll see wooden bowls, you'll see a wooden table, you'll see woven chairs. I just think it makes everything look peaceful and calming. When you go out for a hike, you know, when you're out in nature, 
you feel calm, right? You feel some sort of zen. And I feel like when you bring in elements from outside into the house, that's what you get as well. We have a chalkboard in our kitchen and that is our vision board. Every year, the beginning of the year, we write out our goals and our aspirations and just what we want for the year. And I am telling you, every single time we do this, we always check off everything. It is the weirdest thing, even if it sounds crazy. For some reason, I'm a huge believer of the book, The Secret, and this movie is just all about putting your goals and your aspirations out into the universe and just kind of speaking them out. Every day I'm in the kitchen, right? And even when I don't think that I'm putting these thoughts into the universe, I am because my brain is seeing them. Whether it's subconscious or conscious, and it's crazy how whatever we put on that board, it comes to pass. Tia Mori's Quick Fix is on that board, and one of my goals was just to expand Tia Mori's Quick Fix. It's amazing how I've created this community and this amazing, amazing group of people that looks forward to watching, you know, an episode every week. So you guys are actually on my vision board. So <laughs> another thing that's on the vision board is a healthy baby girl. And I actually wrote that um, before I got pregnant. So it was very hard for me to get pregnant and it was a goal of mine. And you know, it was up there on that board and now look, also on that board is just love and happiness. I'm a true believer of unconditional love and just being loving and just exuding love. So I wanted to put that on the board and also happiness. I believe that, you know, happiness is a choice and if you're constantly looking at the word, you'll find ways to be happy. I can sit here and tell you all of the things that I can complain about right now, but I choose not to focus on that. I wanna focus on the positive things and focus on things that make me happy. So yes, that vision board is really important and it's something that everybody can see. So everybody that comes into our home is a part of our journey and you know what we want for the year. So when I'm cooking, I wanna know where everything is, right? So say you're cooking an egg. If you don't know where the spatula is or whatever you need, it might end up burning while you're looking for, you know, that spatula. I don't want that to happen. I like for things to be organized and put into their place. So when I'm cooking, I know exactly where everything is. I can tell you where everything is in that kitchen. So speaking of organized, let's talk about my pantry. My pantry is a work of art. Now, before you call me crazy, there is a method to my madness. If you see in my pantry, I have clear containers. The reason why I love doing this is because I'll be able to see what I need more of. For example, Cree's cereal. If you have it just in a cereal box, then you don't know how full it is. You don't know if you're like, oh my gosh, he needs more of it or he needs less of it. So that's one of the main reasons why I like having clear containers. I found that when I didn't do it this way, I was buying multiple things. I would buy like five packs of sugar and I'm like, oh my gosh, Tia, you already have sugar. But now that I have everything in these containers, I know what I need and what I don't need. I hope that makes sense and I hope you guys don't think I'm crazy. <laughs> Look guys, I have a visitor. Um, she came and just dropped <laughs> in my lap while doing the house tour, right? The family room and the kitchen, it's definitely the heart of my house and my favorite part of the house because this is where memories are made. This is where new relationships are started. You know, friends, people meeting new people. This is the place where I just see people laughing and just smiling and having a great time, people joking. Right, Cairo? Right? Right, boo-boo? Right? Oh my gosh, it almost looked like she went. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed our house tour series. I know it was a lot of fun, right, Cairo? Right? Right? <laughs> uh, make sure you guys follow Tia Mori's Quick Fix, and I'll see you next week. Bye! 
Wanna say bye? Say bye bye.